Welcome back to Bullstack Figure Reviews. Today we will be looking at McFarlane Gold Label Jokerized Batman White Knight. <coughs> and here he is in the box. The front of the blister box packaging has the official McFarlane Gold Label collection mark. The bottom of the box has some enticing Joker graffiti. The top of the box has the mandatory 22 moving parts statement. This side says Batman and has some more of that graffiti. And the other side says Batman with the words Batman White Knight crossed out. The back of the box has a comic depiction of Batman White Knight with some more of the Jokerized graffiti superimposed over the image. And now with that, let's get him out of packaging. And here is Jokerized White Knight out of the box. I like it. There has been a division amongst toy collectors when it comes to the Jokerized figures, but for some reason, I am gravitating towards this look. I applaud McFarlane for daring to do something different. The face paint on this figure is wicked. The decision to give him red eyes along with the smile was genius. The way the white slowly gradients into the purple to paint the cowl is delightfully done. The green cape properly follows the Jokerized motif. The Joker lettering on the chest is neatly painted, although I'm not too sure it was needed, but it does not detract from this figure. I find the coordinated purple Batman chest emblem and purple belt very pleasing. I believe the total amount of gray really balances out the Joker colors as to not overdo it. Any less gray and the figure might become too busy for my taste. Overall, an enjoyable looking figure. For articulation, this Batman features a ball joint in the neck that allows his head to go up and down and it can also rotate all the way around. This cape is made out of a really flexible material and so it doesn't really hinder the articulation too much. He also has a ball joint in the shoulder that allows his arm to go in and out and rotate all the way around. He also has bicep cut single jointed elbows, his hand can rotate and hinge. He features two ball joints, one in the diaphragm and one in the waist that allow him to go forward and back and tilt side to side and has rotation. The waist has the same exact movement. His leg can kick up and down, in and out. His hips have a tiny little bit of swivel. No thigh cut. Double jointed knees. His boot can rotate and hinge. He also possesses toe hinge. For accessories, Jokerized Batman comes with this grapnel gun, a batarang with line, a wrapped batarang with line, four Jokerized playing cards, a collectible trading card, and a holder for that card. And lastly, a colorful generic display stand. Tremendous. This Jokerized Batman stands at a little bit over seven inches tall. He looks great with other seven inch figures. 
Here he is with McFarlane Devastator and McFarlane Superman and Marvel Select Sabretooth. He is too tall for six inch figures. Here he is with Marvel Legends Wolverine. After years of epic battles between the Dark Knight and his twisted arch enemy, Batman faces his greatest challenge yet. The Joker has been cured of his madness and is now sane. The Clown Prince of Crime has changed his ways, fighting for good in Gotham City, and it may just cause Batman to go over the edge of his own sanity. And now for my final thoughts. I was pleasantly surprised by this figure. I did not think I would enjoy having a Jokerized Batman as much as I do. McFarlane went above and beyond with this figure, and I recommend serious collectors give this one an opportunity. I don't believe you will be let down, and the beauty of this Batman is that he can fit into so many different type of displays. Overall, just a superb action figure. And now with that, if you enjoyed this video, Please remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe.